welcome everyone to Mita del Mundo, the center of the earth. <laughs> we're standing on the equator. Yeah, it's Aaron Laurie Miller. We're hanging out in Middle Earth today. <laughs> cool little tourist spot and we'll walk you through what we see. So come along with us. Apparently, Cotopaxi is over there. Highest active volcano in the world. Can't quite get a look at it, but we can see it from our apartment window, so if we get a better shot, insert clip here. I think there's sort of a decidedly different feel to being in Ecuador. We've traveled a lot in uh, Central America, Mexico, Honduras and stuff, but as soon as we landed here in Ecuador, there's a really distinctive feel of the Andeans here, like the mountains, you, alpaca kind of culture, uh, carrying large loads on your back, the poncho. So it's just a really different, um, higher elevation, mountainy, Andean feel. Pretty cool. Very South American. Mitad. We're going to another Mitad del Mundo. So what did you think of that first one? So you know what? Kind of underwhelming. The monument was really cool, I have to be honest. But I don't think it's the true equator. So I would really like to see the actual zero degrees, zero, 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 latitude, zero, zero, zero. So the word on the street is... Buenas tardes. Como les va? Buenas tardes. The Gracias. word on the street is, is that there's another middle of the earth museum not too far off that's actually closer to the equator has some other activities and we're gonna walk ourselves over there and uh, see what's up Okay, so when you get to this little museum here, they'll make sure that you paid first. Once you've paid and they've got the ticket to be sure, then they will begin the guide that's included, the tour. And so we're gonna go see what this museum has to offer. You are not arachnophobic, right? The name of this tarantula, it is Goliath. It makes sense why, because it's very, very big. And this, it is just the baby size of this tarantula, okay? Just the baby. The maximum size of this one, it could be only in the torso, this, without the legs, 30 centimeters like a human, please. Oh. Uh, it's a very, very big, uh, good hunter. It's carnivore. The, the diet of this tarantula includes animals like monkeys or rats, okay, even birds. When they are hungry, they can be waiting on, on trees by hours, and when a bird is passing by, they can jump, catching the bird in the air while it's flying. It's, it's insane. The first and sort of more popular or famous Middle of the Earth Museum, I would say it's cool because of the monument and the grounds. They're very well kept. Probably worth your time. I think we spent around twice as long there as we needed to. We spent a couple hours, but I think you could easily do that museum in say half an hour, 45 minutes. I would also recommend do yourself a favor and take the five minute walk down to this Museo Dantiano. Pretty good. Excuse my pronunciation. We'll put it on the screen. Yeah, it's just a short walk, but it's much more sort of immersive. Mm -hmm. You get a guide included and they walk you around and show you the museum. They'll have you do interactive activities with them like try to balance an egg. Oh. Boom. 
She does it. Lori was the only one in our group that succeeded at that, so she's now the egg master. Lori signing away on her black belt in egg balancing. <laughs> Thank you. You're Very welcome. Good. good job, honey. He did some strength tests with me, and it was amazing how the difference. Do not let me open it, okay? Try okay. to resist as strong as you can. Strong as I can. One, two, three. <laughs> Great. Now, please put your arms like this. You push up, I push down, okay? Great. Thank you. Thank you. Do the same. Okay. Nice. Do the same. Alright. One, two, three. Look uh, look at the Adrian's face. There you will see the reaction. Okay, there was nothing. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. Much harder. With your pinky. Okay. <laughs> And the last one was uh, walking the line on the equator. The, the idea is that the forces of the earth tug you in one way or the other. Gloria is impervious to the forces of the earth. No problem. The last test was the swirling of the water. We drained a bucket of water right on the equator and it drained straight down. There was no movement. We had some little leaves floating on top. And then we went to the south, did it, and it went counterclockwise. And then we went to the north and it went clockwise. Yeah, that was kind of cool. So if you'd like to see the center of the earth while well, you're in Quito, Ecuador, which by the way, Quito apparently means center of the earth. We didn't know that. Yes, en español. That was one thing we learned today. But if you're wanting to take in these museums, I can recommend them both. If you have time for just the one, I'd recommend this smaller one out of the way. It yes. was much more memorable and more things to do. We'll see you again soon in the next video where we're probably going to end up in the cloud forest, but who knows because we are plant free. 